Hello, my name is uh, Cordula Anhut Franke. I'm a dermatologist uh, born in Germany and working in the beautiful island of Mallorca. And I have specialized in aesthetic dermatology and laser uh, dermatology. So we are going to treat now a patient who suffers mainly from rosacea, but we also find at the same time in his sun terraces of the skin, so mainly on the forehead, on the cheeks, um, pigmentation. So we are going to address both chromophores. So first the pigmentation, then the diffuse redness and also the broken capillaries. Yeah, so we will combine the IPL with different settings to achieve an overall nice treatment uh, to improve all those uh, conditions for the patient. So we do have some sun damage here, especially on the forehead, a little bit also on the cheeks. We see some brown pigmentation. Then we do see a diffuse redness and a lot of capillaries. So he has a type of rosacea, not an inflamed type of rosacea, but it's like uh, a rosacea with erythematosa e teleangiectatica, vale? So we have uh, this mixed condition, which is uh, a fantastic condition to improve with the nodules. And then we do see that he has, especially in his T-zone, a rather uh, open enlarged pores, especially in the glabella area, also on his nose, you see quite big pores that we can also address. And again here on the left side we see pigmentation next to diffuse redness and lots of teleangiectasia and capillaries. Yeah, so he spends a lot of time in the sun and as we see very often in our patients are actinic keratosis or so solar keratosis uh, coming up um, which are considered as uh, potential precancers. Uh, so we will start with the wheel headpiece uh, for diffuse redness and pigmentation and then see how the reaction of the skin will be and then we are going to change to the PR to the rosacea mode. And then we can start, we can see on his face also a poikiloderma, yeah, so this is all related to, to sun exposure. And what we see a lot in Caucasian skin is this type of uh, condition, so diffuse erythema, which is very often related to the image of being an alcoholic, you know, because uh, the skin is not always red, no, you might experience that as well yourself, so even though this is... Not, Exactly, even though this is not related at all, yeah, but uh, the wish of our patients is very often to reduce that to achieve a, a nicer texture of the skin. Okay, here we go. Bruno, I try to work fast, uh -huh. yeah, if you want a break, please let me know. All right. So it's super important not to press down the skin because we really want to treat nicely the blood vessels and not to compress them. Most people find it less uncomfortable if we work fast. And I usually start in front of the ear because that's the area which is the least painful. Also it allows me to do one shot to watch the reaction. You know if I see my settings are too high then I can reduce them and I don't have a mark. So now we can already see here nicely that we have some good reaction on the brown spots. So now we are going to use the rosacea mode with the PR. To work on the diffuse redness and on the smaller capillaries. This is a little bit more painful mm -hmm. than, than the one before because we have a higher absorption in the hemoglobin and this is what hurts <laughs> yeah, that's good. and unfortunately there's no way to use numbing cream because we want the blood vessels really open
I try to work in the other direction now in the second pass. So I would do a third part on the cheeks. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we are working with a with a shorter pulse duration, which gives us a bit of a risk of pupera. That's why it's important to watch the skin well. And now you can see clearly the change of the color in the capillaries here. It's a very nice reaction here. Perfect. Great. Now you see how quick this is. I mean we are treating a full face with three passes, so it's it's a very it's a wonderful device. Now we're looking for some of the bigger capillaries. They might need an extra shot. Okay, here we go. So now we see a clear change of color. And we see that the, that the capillary is totally closed. Very nice result. Yeah, let's see the next one here. Yeah, but you also see that it does a lot more in the skin. So we have a lot more heat that we uh, are delivering. Yeah, so if you do that on a full face, people will really be swollen. Yeah, so that's why I use this only in the last pass, only on selected capillaries. Nice. Yes, you see the grayish. One more. Okay. Can you squeeze the nose? So, also here I'm going to work with the template. Here we go. Okay, perfect. There we go. Yes, that's it. See? Great. There we go. Okay. So, you see, what we do is a bit of an ablation mode, even, so the the little scab comes off already. Okay, here we go. Alright, sorry. Mm -hmm. So we have a good reaction on the pigment, we have a good reaction on the diffuse redness, and also on the telangiectasia. And we have treated everything in one go. You can see a, a slight edema on the areas where we used our 10-10 setting. So this is really an area where you have to be super careful. I would only recommend to use a template. Yeah, and never do a full, uh, a full size shot. Because uh, it does cause swelling. And some tears are coming out as well. So now we can apply the the mask and the vitamin C. After the IPL treatment uh, we, ha we have created a little bit of heat in the in the tissue so uh, to reduce the heat we use some cooling. The roller is something which people appreciate <laughs> a lot. It's much more effective than a cool pack. Um, and then after the treatment, we apply a calming mask. We personally like the phytocorrective mask from SkinCeutical, which we store in the, in the fridge. But there's others, you know, other hydrating masks around, of course. I've been working with IPL for 20 years, you know, and the, the Nordlers is a little bit uncomfortable in the moment when you shoot, but afterwards, the burning yeah. sensation goes away very fast. It's more the sh yeah. it's more the surprise factor. Exactly. The, hurt, yeah. the pain yeah. is a little bit. And the bit light bad. also, yeah. no, which is, is a bit. Yeah. It's just a surprise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
and uh, we also surprised of course people with rosacea they have a higher tendency to develop a swelling and edema after the treatment so that's why we recommend to do treatments rather in the morning than in the late afternoons um, and then really uh, use uh, go in the go in the uh, in the in the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah? so cool your skin. Don't exercise. Don't do a yoga class when you stand on your on your head. <laughs> you know, down. upside down exactly. So uh, of course this helps. No sauna for the next couple of days and sleep a little bit elevated with okay. an extra pillow tonight. Yeah. yeah, this also helps to reduce swelling.